Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today we were at the USS Kidd, a bit of a uh, historic spot for several reasons. One, it's, well, it's the Kidd, Fletcher-class destroyer that served in both World War II, Korea, and into the 60s. Unlike other Fletchers like the Velos that were modernized, Kidd never was. So she's still in a World War II configuration, which is very cool. And this is kind of where it all started for me with my uh, interest in naval history and warships and such. I gotta tell you one thing too. It's a big boat. <laughs> the game, you know, we play it, the destroyer is a small, nimble ship, so then you get here and um, that's not a small boat at all. And the tide's kind of low right now. You can see over there her propellers are a little bit out of the water. Uh, if the tide was lower, we could actually go walk around the bottom of the ship, but unfortunately for us that's not the case today. But, I mean, still, Really cool museum. She just got a new premium camo, if you can't see. They actually just got done painting her, I think, yesterday. So, very nicely done there with a fresh coat of paint. So, we're going to go aboard, show you guys around the kid, and um, yeah, it's going to be a good day. Let it go. So, size, again. This ship is small in the game, but it's like huge here, and we'll, we'll get some shots of it um, afterwards to see the, um, the full-on effect of, I guess, how much the game has distorted our perception of, of real-life objects, but good lord. All right, let's go. So they have a tour out now. Used to, it's like the other ships where you could just wander wherever, but now you gotta go on a route, which I think is smart. Because you would miss stuff. Oh, this is, look at this, it's a level. It's all got, you get, she has a slight list uh, starboard me thinks. Yes, starboard's that side. Because it doesn't matter if you're like upside down, starboard, starboard, port, support on the ship. <laughs> but the man literally said, step up and over. So come see this, this is pretty cool. So this is what the ship was like when uh, it was donated to the public. Well, not to the public, but to the uh, museum. That's an example of the condition that it was in, which is I don't think they can rough. Really see. Look at the old Remington typewriter in there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there it is. That wonderful lead paint, probably. She served through World War II, the Korean War, and into the 60s, I think, and was never modernized, apparently. At least not, not majorly. Um, then you've got the... Mexican Navy, they use ki uh, not kids, they use Fletchers. They use children? <laughs> yeah, well, they, maybe. <laughs> they use Fletch, uh, they have one Fletcher, I think, that served into like the 2000s. Here, oh, this is the mess. Look at how small it is. And we just got back from the Horn at Horn's Last Museum Ship we were on. Like, their mess was huge. Not so much, I mean, this is pretty big. I wouldn't mind my kitchen being this big. So I wouldn't mind my kitchen being this big. Oh, they got the beans. Whole beets, whole eggs, Del Monte. Got all your major food groups in there. Canned beans, canned fruits, evaporated milk. Peter, look at the Peter Pan peanut butter. Where? Look up at the above the ladles and stuff. It's the oh, black I one. Yes. I wonder if they had like the amoeba or whatever they had in them the last time. Remember, do you remember that? When we were in like mm -hmm. junior high or high school, they were like, oh yeah, the peanut butter, peanut butter is like full of, I don't know, something. Brady. Yeah, something like that. It is spicy out here. Mm -hmm. See, this is in Louisiana, so imagine like those guys in the Pacific with, I don't think this thing was air conditioned. I, mean, I think they had ventilation, but not air conditioning. That was like, I think the carriers had air conditioning and like some of the battleships, but I don't think the fleshers did. 
So this is also the ship where Greyhound was filmed. Now I had a review of Greyhound up on the channel, but uh, Steve Jobs doesn't like having his money threatened, so they completely took it down. Like they, they didn't just demonetize it, which I would've been fine with. They took it down all in all. And it was filmed aboard the kid, and we're gonna get to see some of those locations as we go on. So speaking of locations, this is the um, mess area where he'd shoot out those uh, sailors at the beginning of the movie, right after he gets on board the ship. So they filmed that here, and we're from where they would have walked in at. I think Tom Hanks was sitting in that right-hand corner over there, or that left-hand corner, somewhere in there. That's cool. Tom Hanks is pretty neat. Been in a lot of good movies. Toy Story among the, the best. So apparently, too, that the mount, the five-inch guns do still rotate, and in the movie, Anytime the guns were rotating, except for, of course, like the CGI shots, that was the actual kids' guns rotating. The ship is, is apparently 85% operational still, which is more than can be said for a lot of other museum ships. So that's pretty interesting. So that also begs the question, can I start this boat up and take it? I hope that answer might be yes. It's gonna be a very nice fishing boat, me thinks. Now, see, this is kind of where it all started for me with my interest in naval history and such. I was in Boy Scouts, and we came and we spent the night on the kid. That was one of my earliest memories of Boy Scouts, and it, it was cool to, like, a uh, 13-year-old, 14-year-old, 12-year-old uh, sea lord. I have no idea how old I was when in Boy Scouts, whenever Boy Scouts starts. That, that, that was really cool, and I thought this was the coolest thing. So from there on out, it was the downhill slide, and then eventually, you know, World Warships comes out. And sure enough, kids in World of Warships, and that was one of the first premium boats that I purchased, and well, now we've come full circle. So you can thank this wonderful museum ship for uh, the channel today. Yep. Oh look, I'm a proper vlogger now. Dang. Got the up. selfie mode. People were, in fact, built different back in the day. Giving my job back. <laughs> Caleb, you laughed. What? Wait, are we seeing him? <laughs> <laughs> well, what part of unrestored World War II destroyer do you not understand? What uh, Tim, the tour guide... Oh, this is an ice cream machine, by the way, Bethany. She was... Um, so, if I'm remembering the story from Boy Scouts correctly, there are certain ships in groups and like their, um, their divisions, fleets, whatever you want to call them, that were dedicated ice cream ships and they would make ice cream for everybody. And then you got the Japanese that can't even make gasoline to power their navy and America's got dedicated ice cream ships. And the kid was one. 50 gallons! You're making a lot of ice cream. We gotta have some ice cream. God. Gotta keep morale up. Oh, they stole it. <laughs> Since they didn't get ice cream mixed when Yay. resupplied, the crew pirated it from other ships. Oh, they didn't get the mix. Um, still up for debate how they... I, I'm convinced they stole it. That, Dude, that's, I would too. If I had to come in this thing like this... Oh. Exactly. I mean, they had vento... <laughs> I am not a man from the 40s. I am far too wide. But they have some good news for you. Dang, please tell me. <laughs> that's AC. AC. Are you sure? Yeah. It's like five degrees cooler, wow. but I'll take it. Caleb, you were dripping, dude. <laughs> you were glistening. It's drip or drown. Because, I mean, you're in a giant metal ship, and it conducts whatever, whatever is around it. So if it's really cold, it's going to be really cold. If it's really hot, it's going to be really hot. Wasn't it on the Hornet? It's like you're freezing to death? Yeah, but I think they have, they have, they have modern AC on the Hornet. That, and apparently the Hornet's the most haunted ship in the world and no one told me that and I spent two nights on it so wait till you walk through this doorway it's even hot <laughs> <laughs> heat rises y'all heat does rise I hit here's the the handle the shell handling shell handling room I think so they would take the uh, the shells here and they would put the um, casing on them and then send them up to the, the turrets above us right now. 
You can even climb up here and get into the turret, me believes. How yeah, tall is that? It's back there. Look how little that is. Yeah, people were tiny back in the 40s. We didn't have McDonald's or <laughs> seed oils or... What? Yeah, these are where the officers would probably, uh, junior officers. Okay, the higher your rank, the thicker a matches you get. <laughs> yeah, and then less people you gotta, you gotta share it with. Oh, so it came, I'm guessing like the, I'm not sure about these types of guns. I don't know how battleship guns work. Well, you have the powder bag and stuff, but these, they were, they look me on modern rounds. Officer's country. These are where the officers slept. They still, look, look, look at this one guy up here. Imagine being that guy on the top rack. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> God forbid your sleep paralysis demon gets you gone. You're not getting out. Uh-oh. Look at that. He gets a big old room. Look at check his room out. Look how much space then he gets. What? He's the ex he's a second in command. There's two beds though, so two people's here? You probably rotate. Had a problem with when he didn't. He was like downed aviators waiting to return to the aircraft carriers. That makes sense, because they, they were typically officers. No, they not typically, they were officers. Watch your head. So this is also where Greyhound was filmed, or CIC. If you've seen the movie, this should look familiar. Formi familiar, English. There's a the wardroom again. Hold this. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Hi. So she got in the truck, she had a jacket and jeans, and I said, you know we're going to like the kid, right? Like probably no air conditioning. She said, and I quote, beauty before fashion. No, beauty before <laughs> comfort. Fashion before comfort or something like that. There's a radar. Beauty is pain, swag is forever. Yeah, that's the radar. I can't see the radar with the full reflection. Well, there we go. got it? Yeah. Whew. Yeah, I've also thought there was going to be some AC on this thing. Apparently there's not. Unrestored World War II destroyer. The Hornet didn't treat me like this. Is my eyeliner still there or has it gone Yes, it's, it's still there. <laughs> got the gun director here. This thing that sits on top of the ship. Then you got... Room where the captain would be when he the ship is on the way. The pilot house. <laughs> and the bridge. There be the bridge. It's sealed off for now. Uh, glorious, glorious 40 millimeter bofers. Oh, these aren't the ones you can play with. I'm sad. Not, I don't think I want to sit in the metal seat anyway right now, with how hot it is. So I think back there is where her second set of torpedoes would be, but they took one rack of torpedoes out and they put in more AA guns which is why in the game that the kids like still one of the best A ships ever. And you only get one rack of torpedoes, which it's a very dented torpedo, but it's there. Here's that five inch um, gun practicer loader, loader practice. I don't know exactly what it's called. It's where they were practice loading the five inch guns without loading the five inch guns. What is this? Just a random chair and... Vent and set. Okay, cool. <laughs> Exhaust or something? Like I, yeah, I would think they were just like they just left the chair. Oh, that might be the barber. What was the barber shop? Maybe. So, yeah, look, there's a sink over there to the right. That probably was the barber shop. Uh, uh. If I had to guess. Got to cut hair somewhere. Speaking of haircut, you just got one. What? You used to have a mullet. I did. I did. I'm, I had put my hair and my beard into summer mode because it's too hot. To, <laughs> he gets it. <laughs> We're in summer mode now, which I'm glad I did because it, it is it is warm. Gun. Here's the depth charges. Ooh. You can see him use like all of these in a Greyhound. And of course, very important asset in game today with the addition of submarines. All right, here, here's here's the crew head. That this is where they would do their business at. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> next to each other at the same time? Yeah, I like the one red one. <laughs> Darn. They used to have 
in these little glass exhibits. Um, artifacts from other Fletcher class destroyers. I don't know where they all went. I guess they're redoing some stuff. But they're all empty now. Yeah, these have stuff in the black from what's the Velos, uh, the Johnston. But um, yeah, I don't know. They're all gone now. No, see, this is where we slept. I remember this. This, yeah, this is it. This is where we slept at. They, um, I think I slept in that bunk right there. Yeah, I slept there then. Um, yeah. They, they, they left those red lights on. They, they turned everything else off. Whew. They did get really cold. Oh, this is a bit. <laughs> oh, this is a bit. That's it's not putting out much, but. It's kind of, kind of sus. <laughs> I say the vents kind of. The vents kind of sus. Oh, it's the steering gears. Oh. That's how you steer this ship. Yeah, Caleb, just move the whole ship around, don't you? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. That's the. Golly! From the engine or what? No, that's where the, the steering gear is. where you steer the rudder. That big old piston would move. Oh. Don't sound so impressed. There's the gears right there. The actual steering gears. That's where that one module goes, guys. They had cheat sheets here for them. Standard rudder, negative 70 degrees, full rudder, 25 degrees, hard rudder, 30 degrees. You're right there, there's the heat getting to you. <laughs> Heat's getting to her. So when the Johnston was attacking the, the Yamato and all them during the battle off Samar, the pilot house got knocked out. And the captain, there's a hatchback there, which go, go show him that again too, that ladder goes up up. And Captain Evans was there shouting down orders to this room and telling the crew how to maneuver the ship and still stay in the fight until the bridge had been destroyed. That's why we need the Johnston in the game. I think that's that, no that's too far back, that wasn't that hatch. Tell me where that hatch comes out at. No, that, that's probably it. I think this is probably it. Yeah. So imagine he's standing here shouting orders down there while being shot at by the Japanese fleet. That's uh, that's something, all right. <laughs> Crazy. Where'd you get that water from? All right, you good? Huh. <sighs> If y'all like this sort of stuff, we got a YouTube channel. Keep one of your stickers and use the full name, USS Kid Veterans Museum. I just want to enjoy the breeze right now. World of Warships online game. I play World of Warships. Okay, so if you just go on YouTube and Google USS Kid, you're going to get all the gameplay. you got to put USS Kid Veterans Museum. You'll find our channel that way. Thanks for coming and thank you for serving. Hey. I have the Wii theme music playing in my head right now. My ADHD's kicking in. Well, at least we're in the- Oh! oh <laughs> that would have been Don't bad. That, that would've got a lot of views. Wow, what great beat roll we're getting. <laughs> Dang, this is good stuff. Up high! <laughs> There's people! <laughs> Go! <laughs> Stop on it! <laughs>